there Phil was, kind of slumped back in his chair, you know, just kind of soaking in all the rocket leaves. Uh, so we were playing a drinking game to it, and it was pretty much straight vodka, so it was pretty much a shot every single time someone, someone had scored. We probably had 12 shots before the end of the match. So I got some photography, I kind of caught the the winning moment of, you know, where the, the players on the on blue team kind of, you know, celebrating away and then on the other team it was just like this guy was just so focused on the screen that you could tell he was just so pissed off at the same time. It was it was quite amusing but you know, I I think they both play play pretty well. Um the team that is RLCS of course I think they they slightly dominated. I am on stage with our winners, Pocket Jewels. Um, I was going to ask you, my first question was, how did you cope with the pressure on the big stage? But I think you answered that with a clean, uh, clean sweep there. Do you expect the finals to go that way? Uh, yeah, I already predicted it on the stream. So, yeah, it was a formality, pretty much. You turned up, you did the business, got it done. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Awesome, um, Louis, we heard from the, the cast there that it's your birthday tomorrow. You are of the uh, crazy age of 15 years old. Is this, a, is this the perfect birthday present for you? It's all I can ask for, to be fair, yeah. Well, we've got a wonderful birthday present coming up for you. If we can hand over the check to our winners, give it up for Mock It Jules! Um. They won four rounds in a row, which was, was quite impressive to watch, to be honest. We were drinking for both teams, so whoever scored, we would drink. Um, we probably only had about maybe uh, about three shots left each uh, by the time that we actually exited the hall. On the way out, as you know, just talking away to Phil, like, oh yeah, dude, that was so cool. Like, ah, oh, did, did you see how many goals they got? Like, dude, I'm so drunk. Got outside to have a cigarette, you know, put it in my mouth. Like, ah, it's pretty awesome, wasn't it, Phil? Phil. And I turn around and I see him stuck at the gates. And um, we put the bottles back into the bag. And um, I saw the security kind of fumbling around through it. I was like, oh shit, you know, oh, dude, we're gonna get, we're gonna get caught. Phil came clean about it, he was just like, look, you're gonna sniff it anyway, you're gonna know, this is vodka. Um, and I was kind of, you know, shuffling up to him, just like, you're right, man, you're right. Uh, the security guard was very understanding, he was just like, right, take it outside, finish it off, and just don't bring any more back in. We were like, fair enough, you know, caught red-handed, sort of, so, yeah. Um, so, got outside, finished it off, and we were just like, uh, I'm going to use a "It's Always Sunny" reference here, and I'm going to say that we were on the on the brink of browning out. Now, browning out is like the the stage in between blacking out and being sober. It's like you kind of you remember the little elements of it, but you can't really recall the whole night as a whole, which is understandable because we probably had about 25 units each at this at this stage. Which, again, for two. Uh, novice drinkers, that's, that's quite an achievement. Um, People up there, you drink, you'll smoke weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to interview Yep, him. that one. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I think we should help him up. I think what we should help him up. I wonder if we leave him here, how long it would take for him to wake the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to leave him in the mud? <laughs> Alright, um, this is cool. Do it. Look, <laughs> it's a goblin! <laughs> Go me, it's a goblin! <laughs> This soap for me, you have it. This is the window stop it, son. Close out 24 hours long. Stop it, please. Stop it. Get some help. I'm gonna get mine. <laughs> 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 
I believe we have a very, uh, a very long, possibly two hour long heart to heart uh, conversation over some pulled pork and a pint. I remember some, well, I don't remember some antics outside. I know what, I know the horse mask was involved. Anyway, walk back. Um, we decided enough was enough. It was about probably 2 a.m. Uh, got back to the tent, you know, stumbled past security and they kind of like, they'd searched our bags enough at that stage to just kind of let us through that bit. So, you know, we didn't have anything at that stage. So, you know, it wasn't so bad. Um, got to the tent and both of us collapsed on the sleeping bags. Couldn't even feel the ground at this stage. And then... We, we put some Smash Mouth on. Now we listened to the first album. Uh, listened to the second album. And then put the first one back on because we both couldn't sleep. Uh, the bitter irony is that we couldn't sleep at insomnia. I'd say throughout the whole duration of the weekend we... We probably only had about 10 hours sleep. <laughs>